One of the things I like about 2K is they make an effort with regards to the game's history, adding former great players and teams each year, with some being monetized and others not. Yeah, with regards to the classic teams in the game, they are missing a few easy layups here. So with that, here's our top five classic teams 2K must add in NBA 2K21. So all right, let's get it. Coming in at number five is the 2008-09 Orlando Magic. Looking back, I remember how much the broadcasters would talk about how, oh, they're surrounded Dwight Howard with four three-point shooters. How smart. Which now is how everybody operates. But this was one of the first teams to establish three-pointers as their main source of offense and actually succeed with it. This Magic team, like their Shaq and Penny version, was made for 2K with their three-point ability and in the paint scoring. And I'm not even gonna discuss the mismatches Hito Turkulu and Rashad Lewis presented for teams at the three and four, because the Cavs remember. But the space in those two, plus a young J.J. Redick, Jameer Nelson, and Courtney Lee back when I thought he was gonna be nice, could provide you will be so key and fun to play with in 2K. And if Ankle Breaker works in 2K21, Ray for also could be fun to use as well. This team made too much noise back then beating the Sixers, Celtics, and number one seeded Cavs, while also making the Lakers at least break a sweat to not be in the next 2K game. At four is the 2001 Milwaukee Bucks. Now I got a personal connection to this team, as a lot of people say the NBA cheated for the Sixers to beat this squad way back when. That's a lot! But this is when, for myself, I started to hear the term Big Three a lot. With the trio of San Cassell, Big Dog Glenn Robinson, and Ray Allen with hair. They will routinely drop 20 a game on folks. Wait, Michael Red was on his team? Wow. Cassell and Robinson hitting all the mid-ranges they could take back when it was cool too, and Ray Allen shooting threes and dunking on folks? Yeah, he used to do that. Just having this version of Ray Allen to play with on his team would be a lot more fun than exclusively waiting for him to come off screens on all the older squads he's on. At three is the 2009-10 Los Angeles Lakers. While the Lakers are definitely well represented in 2K, the fact that the last Kobe era Lakers team is the 0304 squad that lost to the Pistons isn't right. Which is why the 2009-2010 team has to finally get its due. As Kobe's second title as the leading man away from Shaq and final NBA title beating the hated Boston Celtics, I'm actually surprised they aren't in the game already, especially after Kobe was on the cover. Along with Kobe, you do have Paul Gasol, Lamar Odom, Andrew Bynum, and Jordan Farmark. 2K needs a Kobe Bryant-led Lakers team in 2K21. At two is the 2004-05 Indiana Pacers. Now the Indiana Pacers aren't well represented as far as classic teams go in NBA 2K. Reggie Miller not being in the game hurts their whole 90s run, yeah that's a fact. But for the 2013-14 squad being the only Pacers team in the game because Roy Hibbert could jump straight up is inexcusable. Where are any of the mid-2000 squads when Reggie was basically Miami Heat Ray Allen? The Pistons are in it without Rasheed. The 03-04 squad isn't anywhere to be found and they won 61 games. But I'm going to talk about the Pacers team the year after that who only won 44, but when you remember this was the year they ran up in them stands and everybody got suspended, and then it starts to look a little different. Me wanting this team in 2K21 would be solely for the unrealized potential they had. Ryan Artest was just coming off a winning defensive player of the year while dropping 20 a game on folks. Jermaine O'Neal was still one of the best big men in the league, and Steven Jackson was still getting buckets. The fact that they won 44 with Artest playing only seven games and Jackson and O'Neal missing half the season is wild. I mean, they had to rely on Fred Jones to get buckets, y'all. At the time of the brawl, the Pacers were 7-2, and, and some forget the Pacers actually blew out Detroit that game. Yet, without our test in the playoffs, this team again lost in 6 to the hated rival Pistons. So there's no telling the damage they could have done. At least let me find that out in the next 2K game. And coming in at number 1 on our top 5 classic teams missing from NBA 2K is the 2015-16 San Antonio Spurs. Now the Spurs aren't the first player or team to get overshadowed in their own dominant season. And they just so happened to exist at the same time the Golden State Warriors were curve stopping teams. Even the Spurs caught strays from them as they lost 3 of 4. Another reason this team isn't thought of as much is because they lost to the final form of the Oklahoma City Thunder in the second round. Denying us of a 67-73 win team meeting in the conference finals. But what can't be forgotten was how good this team was and how crazy it is they're not in 2K already. The level of shooting this team had despite having only Kawhi and Aldridge score over 11 a game is crazy. But it was their defense that made things interesting. With Kawhi Leonard coming off back-to-back -back defensive player of the year awards and Timmy D shutting the paint down like he was still 24. And this is with Aldridge running around on defense trying not to look silly. And this was with Kawhi 
being a year away from being seen as a true superstar instead of being compared to Jimmy Buckets and Paul George. The bench mob the Spurs will be able to throw at you will be hard to stop with Ginobili doing stuff. Who actually has to get put back in the game first? Boban grabbing every rebound, Kevin Martin hitting sweet jumpers, a boy's D out and a poor man's poor man's D out Kyle Anderson giving you a sweet two points, two rebounds and two assists. Duncan was at the end of his rope so all he could do for you is defend the pain and do drop steps for you in 2K which means he'll still be a top five center. But with Kawhi Leonard, Aldridge, and Parker, this would be way too much to handle offensively to deny this team a spot in 2K21. Sorry people, do you agree with the list? And if not, what is the classic team that you are still waiting to be putting in 2K? Let me know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K content. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all.